Hi everybody, Brenda here. Hope you're all having a good day. Um, I'd like to give a shout out, if I may, to Karen, Connie, and the Little Gypsy. Thank you all for your comments and for subscribing to my channel. Today, I have my latest designer team project. This is a TN or Traveler's Notebook. Um, let's see, it measures eight and a quarter by four and three quarters, has about 68 pages. And um, this cover, I, uh, the background of the cover, I have, I had in my stash, so I used this because I thought it was very pretty with the little bees and the flowers, uh, sort of a, you know, floral background. And the theme I am using is botanical nature theme. And uh, the papers uh, that I'm using here is from Caroline's Craft Tree. Very pretty papers. And um, this time, it's been a long time since I have made a traveler's notebook. So I thought I would uh, give it a try since it's been so long. I have down here a little uh, uh, field notes tag here. Um, part of the kit on the front, uh, seam binding to uh, keep it together. Along the uh, outside, I did a leaf stitch. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's a leaf stitch along the outer edge. A little field note tag on the back. And let's go inside and see what we have. Okay. Um, uh, Oh my gosh, the pocket here is made out of, I can't remember what it is, <laughs> um, but it is fabric. I have uh, a tag, a journaling card, and another little journal journaling card in the front of the book. And those slip right in there. This is some of the beautiful paper from the kit, Botan Botanical Nature. Getting really tongue-tied already and I haven't even started yet. So, um, continuing on, here is a tuck corner pocket with um, some little tidbits in the front here and a little canning jar, postcard, and a tag. And these are from the beautiful kit. Some coffee dyed paper, uh, paper from the kit. This is a collaged page size envelope that I did. And this has a pocket at the top with um, a page from a nature theme book. I slip that right in at the top and I will put that back in later. Um, let's see, more paper from the beautiful kit. Another pocket, this came with the kit. And a tag, goes right in there. paper from the kit and this is an envelope that came with the kit and I just put one of those gorgeous long tags right behind it to use it as like a belly band. This is a glassine bag that I did some um, napkin collage on the front and inside here is a journaling tag and 
some um, botanical theme uh, little cards. I just um, cut them out for you and stuck them all in the bag for you to distribute however you want. That goes right in there. Another page from the kit. This is a little pocket that I made um, from some of my eco dyed paper. So I made the pocket with a little tuck here. That came with the kit, picture down here. And then I made a little, uh, little tablet for some journaling space to tuck in the pocket. And that's made out of the eco dyed paper also. Here we have um, some of the paper from the kit and a little card that came in the kit. And over here we have a, uh, a tag. I stamped collect on the bottom here. Uh, put a little botanical picture and a little specimen attached to it. And that slides right in there. And continuing on, we have some more beautiful uh, pages. On this side, we have um, a little tuck that I made as per Gail Agostinelli. I watched her do this. And this um, heart, I think, is from either Timeless Crochet or Claudia at... Um, oh gosh, can't remember. It's Timeless Crochet or Claudia at, let's see, Timeless Crochet for you. And I also get these from can't remember the other one, but if I think of it, I'll let you know. <laughs> this is a card. Um, this is a postcard from the kit, and this is a coffee dyed guest check, and those all tuck right behind here. Um, this is from the uh, vintage nature book that I got this from, a page. This is from the kit. This is the other side of that nature page. This is your flip up, fabric flip. Um, this is a page from a, I think that's from a bird book. I thought the fabric flip went very well with that beautiful bird's colors. A quail. More paper from the kit. This is a dictionary, vintage dictionary page, some coffee dyed paper. I did do some um, background stenciling on some of the white background pages. This is the middle of the signature. And I just love this page that came in the kit with the little bunnies and the little mice, the birds and the beautiful cherry blossom trees. So pretty. Some more stenciling, the other side of the coffee dyed paper, the other side of the dictionary, the other side of the bird book page. This is a paper sack that I um, decorated the front with some real um, some real flower dried flowers or I should say dried leaves um, and I put the little tag and the little key on the front here and in the sack we have A tag that came with the kit where the little tag and the key is um, connected 
and a postcard from the kit. And <laughs> a page from the nature, um, the nature book. And those are all tucked in here. If I can get them back. We'll do that later. Um, let's see. This is a pocket um, that I made from a, a page from the kit. And inside the pocket, we have a beautiful um, tag that I got from Noel, Noel Wood Studio. She makes the most gorgeous tags. And I can put her link below. I just love her tags. And um, this is a little booklet that I made that on the inside has um, some vellum pockets and I filled each one of the pockets with some washi washi stickers and some little ones over here so it's basically a little ephemera a little ephemera holder and that gets tied right around. Let's see if I can get it back on without having to tie it. And that goes right there and sticks right back in here. Here we have uh, a little uh, piece of the page from previous and I added some um, leaves to decorate it and some lace behind it and glued the ends down for a little tuck spot and we have some a tag journaling card and another little um, mushroom journaling card stuck right in there and some more beautiful kit uh, digital kit this is another one of those um, collaged full page pockets that I did. These are so fun to make. And inside here I put a another piece, another page from the uh, nature book. It fits right in there. Okay, so onward and upward and onward. Here's another page from the Digi Kit. This is a flip front pocket that I decorated with um, a tag from the kit and a uh, rose. And inside is another one of the um, journaling tags that I made. This background, the background on these are um, Edith Holden uh, pages. That fits right in there. This comes down and I think I saw this on Wendy's Journal Adventure, if I remember correctly. Another beautiful page. This is another one of the envelopes from the kit that has the long tag that goes behind, like a belly band. This is another little uh, pocket that uh, came with the kit, and this is another one of those beautiful tags that comes from Knollwood Studios. Love her tags, love her work. Um, another page from the kit. This is another one of those um, tags that I made with the little specimen on the front. A uh, nature theme card and the stamp at the bottom. It tucks right in there. 
This is a little card that came with the kit. <clears throat> this is another one of the tucks um, that can, after you take these out, can flip up and do some writing behind with the um, mason jar, the uh, postcard, and another one of those tags. And that fits right in here. And we have the last page from the kit. And back here, I did one of these. Um, this was done on, it's a little pocket and a little tag made <clears throat> from, I think from the same uh, sheet of paper. And this was done, Gail showed this on her Patreon channel. So we have um, the pocket and the tag. And behind there, I have another one of the tags that I made. And that tucks right in here. And then um, a little tag down here that is also a pocket with some little tidbits in it. One of the flowers from Timeless Crochet. And that is the Traveler's Notebook. Very full, very fun, and I very much enjoyed making it because it has been a long time since I made one. So this is the Nature Theme, Botanical Nature Theme Kit from Caroline's Craft Tree. I will link her below. Um, I'll put this in my Etsy in my Etsy shop sometime this weekend um, let's see what else oh I also threw out used uh, the Tim Holtz field stamp kit and I think I told you everything about this kit so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this kit if you have any questions or comments, please list them below. I will um, get back to you as soon as I can with any questions. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay crafting. Bye-bye.